someone is hiding from you that their intention is not that you don't see them they are just being romantic shalom the lord bless you welcome to purpose and marital bliss with pastor honoring i have a prophetic word for someone and this word is coming to us from proverbs chapter 8 and verse 17. the bible says the amplified bible version god speaking he says i love those who love me he says but i go to meet those who seek me diligently and early the bible also tells us that god hides himself in light and the reason why god hides is not because he doesn't want you to see him he hides because he wants you to find him he wants you to seek him he wants you to come after him it's a romantic kind of thing he just wants to play hide and seek so he says there there is a category of people that love me and i just love them but they are not making they are not too romantic they are not making the best of this relationship like god is so intimately related to you and intimately connected to you he calls you the apples of his eyes he says he has engraved your name in the palms of his hands. He says he can never, he says, can a breastfeeding mother forget their child? He says that is not possible, but even if they do, he says he cannot forget you. And just so you know, as a mother, I just stopped being a breastfeeding mother some few months back. And one thing I came to realize is the moment a breastfeeding mother leaves home, if you have not breastfed over a period, just some hours, you, you, you begin to have your breast engorge. Your breast begin to swell, to fill up, to swell up and be filled with breast milk. And guess what? Wherever you are, you start having leakage. Your dress, before you know it, your dresses are being soiled, your bra is getting wet. That's a reminder to you that you are a breastfeeding mom. So there is a system that has naturally been set just to make sure that you remember that you are a breastfeeding mom. And guess what? That breast engorgement, it hurts. Your breast becomes so full that if you happen to hit it or to maybe just touch it, you, you feel pains. That's to let us a mechanism that has been put in place to know to for you to remember that you are a breastfeeding mom. And God says, even if she was such a bad mom that she forgets, He says He cannot forget you. He says He has your name engraved in the palm of His hands. So when He wants to do something, Anything he wants to do with his hands, he sees your name, he remembers you. You are the apple of his eyes. As a matter of fact, you mean so much to him that he knows the number of hair on your head. He says you cannot hide from him and nothing can separate you from, from his love for you. But then he hides from you. It's not hiding so you don't see him. It's just a romantic kind of thing. He wants to know if you love him as much as he loves you. He wants to know if you go after him, if you come looking for him, if you seek him diligently until you find him and you have no rest. He wants to know if your heart is beating for him so fast as his own is beating. He wants to know if you cannot forget him as well. If you have that same intimate relationship with him. He wants to know if your connection with him is as intimate as his own is with you he wants to know he wants to know so when he hides from you he's not just hiding from you he's luring you he's throwing corn to lure you into deeper realms of intimacy he's throwing he's throwing petals He's hiding from you, but he leaves a trail of petals. He's luring you into the bedroom. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. He's luring you into the bedroom. He's luring you into the bedroom, into the place of intimacy. He's pulling you, he's beckoning on you and telling you, come. 
Come, come, come. There is more. There is more. There is more. I'm calling you into the place of intimacy. I'm calling you into the place where I can see you face to face. I'm calling you into a place where it's just going to be you and I. No interruption. No disruption. No social media. I'm calling you into a deeper realm and that's where God is calling someone today. Into the place of encounter. So he's hiding so you can seek him, so you can go after him, so you can have an intimate time with him. Please don't give him an attitude. Go after him and you'll be glad you did. God bless you. Shalom.